Hi, I'm Angie, and this is my buddy Leo. Both of us are affected by autoimmune diseases. And although I cannot tell you about Leo's AQ, I can tell you that mine definitely helped me. Whenever I finally went to the doctor after suffering for years of symptoms here and there, that uh, discussing with him my family history made a difference in how fast that I got blood tests to check for autoimmune diseases, as it does run in my family. Sure enough, whenever the re results came back, I was diagnosed with rheumatoid disease, Sjogren's syndrome, IBS, and I have also suffered with panic attacks and anxiety since I was in my early 20s. How do these things affect me? Well, at 43, I never expected that I would be looking at being off of work, even if it is just for a few months, as all the treatments so far that I have tried have failed. I have been on several medications, such as steroids, methotrexate, which is a chemo drug, and also ones that you're probably more familiar with, such as Enbrel. Financially, this takes a burden and a toll not only on myself, but also on my family members. Enbrel, without insurance, can cost 2000 a month alone. I don't know too many people that can afford just $2,000 just for the medication, let alone any other medications, regular bills, and keeping up with kids, etc. Uh, emotionally, it's like ro riding a roller coaster. You have up days, you have down days. When I'm flaring, I'm pretty much uh, in bed most of the time. Every day I wake up, uh, I wake up feeling like at least one bone in my body is broke. Um, I've been tested for, or excuse me, I've had x-rays on uh, my lungs. The fear of uh, mean disease is also affecting my lungs. I uh, taste metal when I eat. I've had trouble with uh, my hearing and my vision. And as you can see, I tend to have brain fog and trouble with speaking as well. So with all those things, yes, it can become very depressing. It can be become very frustrating. You get angry with yourself. And uh, I try to remember what I always tell my children, and that is that there's a positive in every negative. So with that, when I need to burden my loved ones with help, I try to think of it as in a positive way, such as whenever I ask my daughter to help me do my hair. I use that as a way of her, spent, her and I spending more time together, or giving my son maybe a pat on the back of and a little bit extra self-esteem when I need him to open a can or a bottle for me. My thoughts for a cure is so that my children and future generations all together will not have to feel what myself and millions of others who are now suffering with autoimmune diseases feel. And that also, should we get a cure in my lifetime, that uh, I can continue to proceed on with my dreams and goals that I had before autoimmune diseases affected me and kind of put me in the position I'm in today. I thank you for taking the time to listen to me. Have a, have a good day.